Good morning, everyone. We're starting the day off in the shop. So if you watched any of the planting videos from this year, you know that we do seed corn. So we raise corn to be used for seed for other farmers next year. Um, and so that means we have to do planting a little bit differently. One of the weird planters that we have is this split row planter. This is what we plant all the male seed corn with. Um, and so we have had um, some extra boxes on here for a while now, but we are going to do some modifications to it. Um, now that planting season is over, we can do that. So what I'm going to be doing today is completely deconstructing this planter bar so that all we have left is this green part here. Um, and so then over the summer, we're going to take it in and we're going to get 10 feet chopped off this bar, make it a little more manageable because we don't need these extra row units on the outside. So the first thing, I already did this thing right here, this hex shaft. I took that part out. Now I'm going to take all of this out. I have to turn this hex shaft in order to get it off, but I can't turn it because it is hooked up to this chain and this chain is hooked up to this hydraulic motor. Um, luckily, it found the mast link on the first try. The problem is that it's way down in there. So I guess we'll see if I can get this. That thing was pretty rusted on there, but I got it. Now, look at that, turns freely. These pliers, before I carried pliers, I thought, when would you ever use pliers? But now that I carry them every day, I use them all the time. Must be connected one other place. Mm. So now that the hex shaft is out from all of these, this is where the tricky part begins because we have to disconnect all these here, all of these vacuum hoses, and then all of this, even the tank has to be taken off. Yes, all that and all that. So I'm kind of complaining about having to do this because I know that I'm gonna have to put it all back together and remember how we put it back together. This is like the simplest planter ever. Um, if we would have to do this for the box planter, or really any other planter. I mean, it would be a total nightmare to take all this apart. 
So I guess I shouldn't complain. At least I'm taking the simple planter apart. <laughs> It's like 80 degrees and so the neighbor called and he has a pickup truck for sale. He said if I don't buy it he's gonna take it to the junkyard. So I'm gonna go save an old Chevy pickup and I don't know if I'll save it but so I might beat the heck out of it but I'm gonna go take a look at it and see what we can do. And there's pivots on. If you don't remember from last year. That's a pivot. It squirts water out. It moves really slow. Got her bought. She's a true barn find. 188,000 miles, original owner. They bought it September of 1987. It's been here ever since. Back, hooked up the tilt back trailer to the power strip, and I got some jumper cables. See if we can drive it up on. But if not, I got a winch on the trailer. We can just drag it on up. We got the jumper hooked up. and see if she fires up. with buddy I don't like that got her all loaded up take her back to the farm got her off the trailer and backed in the shop all right we took a quick break from working on the planter <laughs> <laughs> yeah <clears throat> to eat lunch at Raising Cane's, but we finished our meal in like 30 seconds. So now we get to run some errands. The next stop is the car wash, and this nice guy in front of me paid for my car wash. So considerate. Thanks, Grant. Tractor Supply is the next stop here. <laughs> Grant is looking at stuff. I just want to hold the little chicks. They're so cute. Next stop on our errand running trip. Grant is stocking up, apparently. I thought we were just coming in for like two or three things. No, I could not have been more wrong. And the last stop, of course, is Dairy Queen for the most chocolatey blizzard I could order on the menu. even starts just take care of that um sometimes it's hard because on any given farm day you don't always finish a job like taking apart the split row planner that's probably gonna take a few weeks to do so although I didn't really complete that job today I hope you enjoyed watching part of it and I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> bye